Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Shadow Hearts Covenant. Last time we had fun with Joachim and Anastasia before we had serious time with Karen and Yuri. Probably one of my favorite, if not my entirely favorite scene that develops the character between Yuri and Karen. The reason for this is twofold. One, on the surface level, what you saw makes perfect sense. It's a great way of developing their relationship together, shows how Karen is interested and all these things, and they're starting to get to know people, or, you know, one another, which actually makes sense. They're finally starting to do this. Of course, they should have done this much sooner, which would have made a lot more sense. And then we could have completely negated a lot of my complaints about their character dynamic earlier on in the game. But better late than never. Second reason, well, Keep that scene in your head for the end of the game. It's going to take a while to get there. This time we have Shoki. Now, Shoki is going to get the next turn. First things first, Arc Rage. Ah, ring skills. Not going to be my favorite thing today, is it? That's fine. We'll survive. Meteor Fall. Uh, you may be familiar with this because it's basically one of our abilities. <laughs> Ow. That hurt. Um, sure, we'll go for the snapshot here. I'm curious to see if they give this, uh, this guy a specific set. Yeah, so Shoki has 1140 HP. And we'll just take that knowledge and we will combo up and let's finish him off real quick. He doesn't have a lot for a boss, so let's just uh, do what we can. Only two of our characters have upgraded equipment, so we need to uh, take this guy out relatively quickly here. I think that's light based, if I recall correctly. All right, so we got a little bit of Arc Rage in. There's 300 damage. And let's go for Anastasia, sure. Press Magic. Hail Crash, I don't know if we've seen this one. Well, this is what it looks like. As you can see, this isn't gonna take very long. Um, what else can we do? Should we get Yuri in here? Let's do Joachim. Muscle Arts. Should we sh Let's show off Artem Buster since uh, we just got it in the previous episode. You missed? Really? Well, that was crap. <laughs> um, so yeah, even though it's called Artem Buster, he says Ultimate Buster when he does it. Not that it really matters, but uh, I think I'm just gonna go for the normal attack because I don't think either of them is going to finish the guy off. Bright Crest. Now, I think this is the first time we've had the option of seeing a crest ability in action. It hurts. Uh, let's see, mind body revival. Let us show this off. If I haven't already shown it off, this allows uh, restoration and revival. And that's a scary looking revival skill. I think we did see this once before, but... Instant death. This guy's not a pushover in the sense that he does lots of damage and has really powerful uh, abilities. I missed. But on the other side of things, he has no HP. So he falls down pretty quickly. And if 
uh, Joachim had the mist, he would have died in one combo. That was a pretty good warm up. Interesting phrasing there, uh, Fury. It's gone. We defeated it. What do you mean it's gone? Monster's blood. I see nothing. Wait, what? It's multiplying. Here we have Koshoki. Koshoki has a little over 200 HP and this battle is over because there's not much to it. Nice. A true hero never loses. This is true. Way to go, Yoki. And with that done, little critters are tough, except for they're not. They, they fall down pretty quickly. There's nothing special about the uh, Shoki that we fought there. Interestingly enough, by the way, here's the rest of the party. <laughs> We're just fine, Karana. Yeah, 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 yeah. Soldiers. Okay, the idiots have shown up. Go away, monsters, monsters. You gotta buy something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not spending any more money. Uh, do you say anything else interesting? Yeah, 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 yeah. Same thing. For some reason, Sarah's here. I don't know why. But you can go and you can do trials. None of them are new right now, so I don't know why you would. But uh, when you're done uh, setting yourself up, go talk to Karen and we can move on. OK, we're back. Now, I've decided on a mage centric party, not for any particular reason. I just figure, well, my whole strategy for upcoming fights is going to revolve around Lucia. And for doing so, I've given her the Warlock earrings, the frilly apron, and everyone has uh, their new equipment. And most importantly, Leonardo's bear. So everyone has a Leonardo's bear. Uh, everyone has their new equipment, bandit earrings. I don't really have anything else in particular set up, um, but I did make one little change in the, well, it's kind of a big change. Asmodeus, Evil Crest. We saw that Shoki was light based and seems it's on the loose. So let's take a look and see how well uh, making use of that is going to help us. Are you ready? All right, let's go. Ah, the apes have arrived. When I talk about apes in video games, I'm always reminded to Azala from Chrono Trigger. Master. How are things? Not good. Our soldiers are being wiped out. What is your wish? If this continues, many will die. Master, I believe the three of us together could stop it. Mm. Huh. Master! Over there! These are the Yokohama soldiers. Yuri! 
Why does your gun look like a sword? Are they trying to be cool? They think gun blades are cool? Gun blades are not cool. I know it's like a bayonet or whatever, but still. And it would allow someone with a long range weapon to actually do something what do we do? if they got close up in a fight. I get I'll it. Figure out something. I just think it looks dumb. I can feel Nikolai's spirit in it. Yeah, it's got a uh, face in its belly. <laughs> oh, more of these things. Kind of weird how you stop the music, but okay, sure. Come. I'm Oka, of the Mutant Apes. She see no evil. I'm here. Speak no evil. I'm right, hear no evil. Uh, that monster, are you responsible for it? No. Oh, huh? Surrounded. Kato. Stop. I have no desire to fight you now. You mean to say first we stop the monster, huh? Yes. We'll take care of the weaker enemies. You handle the Shoki. You mean we fight together? Yes. Fine with me. After that, you start talking. Very well. Mutant Apes, get us an opening. Yes, yes Master. The strange thing about this is we now control the mutant apes once again. We fight the Koshoki. Now, you don't have to combo up for these, and it doesn't really provide any benefit, but I'm going to anyway. One of the weird things about this... After we get one successful kill... Let's get another successful kill here. So there's that. Now, I'm going to use this because I can hit them both, but for some reason, they've shifted uh, Oka's ring back to uh, normal ring instead of technical ring. I think they've also given her three attacks again, though I can't remember that for sure, but uh, you can see how much bigger everything was this time around. I still did poorly on the ring, but that's fine. It's just kind of weird Their to see it. Was, too simple. was it now? Yet yeah, we get uh, experience in cash and soul, though I don't believe that any of that carries over. Wow. The soul carries over to ours, which makes no sense. But the experience goes into nothing because these guys are all at their max level, which is 50, and they get the money. Kind of weird. But they do indeed uh, fight these guys for some reason. But yeah, if we go and target that one, her attacks are uh, all set up the way uh, they were at the very beginning before we put it on technical for no explained reason. Finish off you. He ends nice because he can one-shot these guys. I'm bad with the ring with the rest of them, so I can't do it. Uh, and on top of that, there we go. Oh no, he can one-shot them. I'm just bad at his ring. Don't take it personally. Sure thing, buddy, I won't. But yeah, it's weird how we get soul for that. <laughs> Maybe it's because Yuri's nearby. 
I guess that would make sense considering uh, Yuri wasn't nearby when we fought with him before and we were fighting a giant mech. Don't think that has a soul. It could be wrong though. I missed. I missed. Let's try this again. Okay. Let's have you one shot something. Or I'll miss. Well, this battle's going fantastic. Uh, Bright Banish, I believe, is the level three uh, light elemental ability. We do have access to it. It's one of the crests we've gotten recently. There's Mental Break, which is poison for MP. There's no um, deadly Mental Break like there is for regular poison. There's that, finish you off. Hey, I got a perfect. And there we go. Try all you might. I couldn't care less. Alrighty then, we got a line from each of them over the course of those fights. And we finished uh, the uh, small fry. I'm not sure why we get to control them now. Master. We did it. Good. Darn. They're strong. They are. <laughs> okay. Let's go. They are more powerful than we are. They're a uh, higher level by like 15 levels, and they do quite a bit more damage. This whole sequence is done in a really weird way. It fades in and out of... The battle very closely. They are our ultimate opponents. Yes, Master. Cut, it fades in and out of cutscenes and non-cutscenes, so there's a lot of silence where it doesn't need to be there. They should have played it all as a movie, uh, and then there wouldn't have been changes, and they could have run the music through the whole thing, and it just would have sounded a lot better. But regardless of that, we have Shoki, 4,550 HP. We don't need to deal a specific uh, amount of hits for a special item. We do have to finish off the boss before it gets eight or more turns in order to get a Seal of the Soul. First things first, we have a party of mages. Let's make them fast. Now, I should have used... Well, I guess I can use her now if I really wanted to with aromatherapy to make all my buffs a little better. But more important than that is I want to get Arc Surge set up. Now, I could drastically abuse uh, Lucia or Lucia or whatever her name is again if I really want to uh, with her aromatherapy. We don't have to do that. Uh, do I want Arc Mirage? Well, you don't have anything else, do you? Well, Arc Mirage it is. We'll get uh, Evasion to cover the uh, physical side of things. And then Arc Barrier. There we go. Our buffs are all established. Now our next turn is combo up and finish uh, finish this guy off. He does have Bright Crest, which is why I think my counter of using... Um, nice. Nice to have the uh, protection. But yeah, I think having... Um, whatever it is, Evil Crest as my counter towards someone using uh, Bright Crest is a kind of a logical uh, setup there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to combo her on top of everybody else. Yes. And we'll get a nice combo going here. Now, unfortunately, with the way I have uh, Geppetto set up, he's not particularly useful uh, upcoming here. But what we're going to do 
is we could show off Gale Spike. I believe we've already seen that. I believe Soul Comet will probably do more damage. So let's go for that. So yeah, 350 damage, not too bad. Um, we want to use... I should have changed Geppetto's dress to the uh, the passion one so that he could do better with dark elemental attacks and I could use him to combo at the end with a combo. Uh, but we're going to use Anastasia here and we'll show off Hail Crash. Nice damage. Um, yeah, I'm going to use Lucian now and Evil Crest. I got it. Barely, but I got it. It's always nice to not screw this one up. It's basically as hard to do as combo magic. Look at that damage. Special attack decreased. It's the only status effect that he is susceptible to the secondary reason why Evil Crest is a really good choice for this fight. And yeah, I wish I had changed his uh, dress class so that Dark would do more damage, but uh, that's fine. Too soon. Either way, the amount of hits doesn't matter. Yeah, that, that's what I wanted to do, is use Meteor Fall. I think that's the darkness-based one. But yeah, that's two hits on him now. We're going to combo up again and basically just repeat the process. Uh, if I hadn't have missed with uh, the ring on that last one, we would have had his HP in half. And then this would have finished him off. But unfortunately, that's not the way that's going to work now. Uh, we'll show off Bright Banish here to build up the combo gauge, even though it's not going to do a lot of damage because he's light based. But yeah, not bad for an element that uh, he is reduced, takes reduced damage from. All right, uh, we will get... I like the amount of damage Anastasia did, so we're gonna have her follow things up. We'll do this again. Some nice damage out of that. We're going to go for Lucia again, and then I'll have Blanca finish off with the combo magic. Uh, so Evil Crest one more time. I missed. Well, that's the shit. That is most certainly the shit. But it's kind of part and parcel. Art Gale is gone. Let's try uh, Evil Crest again here. The downside to using Evil Crest and any of the Crest uh, abilities as an attack is if the enemy is susceptible to the debuff, we've actually reduced the debuff since we didn't get a perfect. One of Shoki's attacks is an instant death attack, and so that's why everyone has protection against it. Doesn't really matter when um, they uh, they die from damage, but that's fine. Blanca to the rescue. All right, we can only get uh, three people involved here. But that's fine. Let's have you Soul Comet. And yeah, the rest of this fight pretty much just goes uh, on repeating the process we've already laid out. Um, by the time we run out of... Um, yeah, let's go for Bright Branch. By the time... Uh, we our buffs run out. He should be dead, and we don't have to worry. Here 
All right, so we'll boost their combo by doing more hits now, meaning we should get more result out of Anastasia's hits. Good, we still have Arc Surge. That's the important one. Perfect on that. Not quite. But yeah, Bright Press, Instant Death, that's what this guy does over and over and over again. Um, so having uh, protection with from Arc Barrier is important and having our spells, uh, you know, set up so that we can take advantage of it is also important. Go for one more turn on this. Okay, we'll miss, that's fine. Everything is all gone now. I don't know how much HP you have left. I missed. <laughs> Not quite enough. There's the instant death. Yeah, look at the amount of damage he does. It's kind of insane. Like, th this game, in terms of the difficulty curve, is unique. It, well, it's not new unique, but it's different in the sense that you can deal a lot of damage and kill the enemy right away, and the battle is easy, or you can kill the enemy uh, you know, very slowly, and the battle is a lot more difficult. Well, you deserve what you've got. Grandia was kind of set up this way as well. Uh, eight turns or less, and we get Seal of the Soul. We didn't need any of the other things. Uh, the combo, I think, gives us extra money this time. Doesn't matter. I'm sorry to end the episode off here, but that's pretty much all the time we have for this one. And I'll see you guys next time.